<laughs> so, so Kathy has come with the first question of the morning asking if I can tell the viewers a little bit more about myself. Something I don't really like to do talking about myself, but I'll give a, a brief little summary of my life, I guess. So I grew up in the town of Howick, which is in the KZN Midlands. Um, I was actually born in the UK, born in a county called Cheshire, which is very close to Liverpool and Manchester. Um, but my parents, both from Zimbabwe, decided that Africa is something that they, they missed. And so when I was about, I think, two or three years old, we moved back to South Africa. Most of my mom's and dad's family moved from Zimbabwe back down into South Africa. And so that's where we settled. I grew up in the Midlands, very small town, nice a uh, very, very beautiful area with big open water systems and really nice big mountains close by. So we spent a lot of our time as, ch as children walking through the mountains and going and sailing and rock climbing and doing some very cool outdoor activities. My mom and dad got a very big sense of, of adventure in them and they brought us along wherever we went. So we went and, and camped throughout Southern Africa. We slept in caves with only sleeping bags and mattresses and so from that age I kind of grew a passion for outdoors um, I've always always loved animals I think the first animal teddy bear that I ever got was a leopard and I've still got it today <laughs> and yeah I went to high school um, when I was a, a small little kid most of my focus was based on on animals I really really loved them but as I started to get a little bit older, I started to focus my attention more on sports, as most young boys do. So I played a variety of sports. I, I used to swim, I played rugby, um, I used to play cricket, wasn't very good at it, especially my batting. Um, and then after school, I went to the UK to do a gap year, so just to go and experience I guess a little bit of where I, was, I came from, so I worked there for a year and then um, traveled around Europe, which was really nice. I backpacked and got to see the, most of Europe, but I think from that point is when I started to miss the, the African bushveld and, and these big wild spaces that I was so accustomed to. So when I came back, I took a second gap year and that was at the University of Pretoria. <laughs> So I, I started off with the BSc on, on Physiology, Genetics and Psychology um, and studying was alright but I, I, I didn't enjoy it as much as I, as I thought I would so started to explore different options and that's where I found and beyond and since then I've been working for them um, for the last five years now I've, I've moved between um, and beyond Pinder, which is where all of the guides start out at. I've spent three and a half years there, and I've been here at and beyond Ngala for the last two. <laughs>